Let's take a look at the Jot lifespan so we can see how it functions. It all begins with the client trying to log in, and in our case, it'll happen with Angular. From Angular, we'll send over, with an HTTP request, our email and password to the backend, whether it's for a login or just register. Our backend will then validate the email and password, and then it will encode the user ID and a few other things against a secret and something called a payload. Then our JOT, which is comprised of the header, payload, and signature, will be sent to the client. At this point, the client gets the JOT. It has no idea what's inside, it doesn't know what it is, because it can't decode it, only the server can, and so it just saves it inside its local storage, and as long as it has that entry inside the local storage, it believes that it's authenticated. Now let's say the client restarts. The JOT is still in local storage because it's persistent, and because of that, they're still authenticated. No matter how many times the browser or client might restart, they'll still be authenticated, unless, of course, the JOT expires. Next, what if a client wants to request a restricted resource, such as, in our example, jobs? In our case, jobs can only be accessed if you are authenticated. So to make that work, what we do is, on the front end with Angular, we take our JOT from our local storage and embed it into an authentication header, which then gets passed back with any sort of request we make to our backend for a resource. That way our backend knows who we are from the payload since our user ID is in it and can authorize us to have access to this resource. Overall, JOTs are very lightweight. They're quite simple and there's no state set as is with cookies, whether it be memory or database. There is no database lookup to determine who the user is because the user ID is embedded in the payload which is part of the JOT. Because there's no cores issues, and because we're not using cookies, that means we can use it in any native application that would not normally support cookies, such as a mobile app, an OS app, etc.